What's up, LinkedIn? It's Brian Faith from Rapify. I told you I was going to start a weekly Monday video series about data, and that is exactly what we're here to do today. Keep that going. Take that for data after uh, the famed David Fisdale press conference when he was the Memphis Grizzlies head coach. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take that for data today, and I'm going to shift a little bit from uh, talking about out-of-home mobility data and talk about a different set of data that has uh, a lot of perception involved and a lot of interpretation involved. Um, and it's something very near, near and dear to my heart. And it's about New York City. And there's the crime is going through the roof. Uh, people are scared. I'm constantly getting asked by friends and colleagues and family what's happening in New York. I see that crime is up and shootings are up and murders are up. What's happening? You live in Midtown. You live by Penn Station. You live by Port Authority. What's happening in your neck of the woods? And I want to use data as a way to frame exactly what's really happening, right? Um, so the New York Post and the Daily News um, and social media, and I'm not a big blame the media guy, but they present a lot of data without peeling back the layers of the onion to show you where that data came from, what they're actually comparing it to, what the baseline is. So when you hear something like shootings in New York are up 89% in 2020 versus 2019, that's super alarming. But what if I then followed that up by telling you that 2019, violent crime and shootings in New York were the lowest level they've been at since they started keeping track. So maybe going up 89% from the lowest level ever is more of a temporary blip related to everything happening with coronavirus uh, than it is this new normal that means New York City is decaying and it's dying and people are leaving in droves and it's never going to bounce back because it's going to be this terrible crime ridden place. Pump the brakes on that. Let's look at the data. The first thing uh, that I'll show you, this is from a New York Times article from three days ago showing shooting victim data, 52 weeks. So it goes back to last August. This was through August 12th. So it's a couple weeks old. Put that caveat out there. Uh, but you can see they plotted the shooting victims citywide, which we'll get into why that matters in a second, uh, citywide for the past 52 weeks. And yeah, Definitely an ugly, terrible, bad summer uh, in New York, for sure. And you compare it right over to the same time um, as last year. And those are alarming numbers. And the mayor and the, the police union and the NYPD and, and everybody involved with this has to figure something out, right? But we've also seen a steady drop for the last three weeks. And from a high, we're down the last month and a half. So is this a blip on the radar or is this a longer term trend? The answer is we don't know yet, number one. So don't make proclamations based off of a moment in time or a snapshot in time of data that's easy to pick off a headline or post on social media. We don't know, but we can look at the data and at least see where it's trending and what's likely to happen. The other thing that I think is fascinating is looking at, this is the NYPD comp stat data. Everything that you could really want to know and dive into is in here. You can see all of the violent crimes, um, all of the, the other types of crimes down here. And this is a look at, you can look at uh, the last week, you can look at the last month, or you can look at the year to date and compare it to 2019. Um, so this will tell you there's an 89% lift in shooting victims in New York. But here's a couple factors that are skewing that and making the headlines seem bigger. Number one, that's citywide. New York City is a big, 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 gigantic place with multiple cities and multiple boroughs. And each one has their, uh, forget just the neighborhoods that have their own personality and their own culture. Even the boroughs are different. This map tells quite a different story about what's happening with some of the crime statistics in New York versus what, when I think advertisers, think about New York City. And when I think about my friends and family that reach out to me, and I've lived in Midtown for almost 15 years, or in Manhattan for almost 15 years in Midtown now, they're saying, is it dangerous there? Manhattan's okay. So Southern Manhattan is okay. And you can break that out right here. 
and say Manhattan South, what's happening? And now you're looking at a lot smaller numbers that are a lot less alarming. And it's because you've taken a look at the piece of data that you really want and you've broken it out and you're not doing this big wide assumption off a big data set. The other thing that I think is really fascinating to look at here uh, is if you pick uh, shooting victims again here and you look at the year to year data, this is what I touched on before. So 2020 is still going. We're only at the end of August. So we're going to clear uh, probably 1,200, if not more, uh, shooting victims citywide, again, citywide uh, this year. And those numbers are going to be up phenomenally compared to the 581 that came from 2019. But if you look back, we had eight, seven, sorry, seven straight years of record lows in the city. So now we're comparing this year over year data and saying, oh my gosh, this is so much worse. But you know what? It's not that much worse than 2012 or 2011 or 2010 or the entire early and most of the mid 2000s. In fact, in the past 20 years, if we compare it to that, we're not that crazy. It's not that bad. Uh, so just be wary. Take a look at data. Use the numbers, slice and dice it in a way that makes sense, whether you're buying out of home media and you want to know what the mobility data is in a certain market, or you're reading headlines and you're based in New York uh, and people are asking you what's happening. Dive into the data, take a look at it because the answers are there if you look hard.